Jesus Christ, the number uno. <laughs> One and only Yeshua in the building. Holy Spirit, let's do it. Now how foolish is Lucifer? Starting this war over vanity, but he's too similar to the man I see. Look in the mirror, my neck, wrist and my earlobes, froze. Fly from my head to my toes, just a little bit of rubies, topaz. Emeralds and whatnot, that's enough to make a black man think he God too. But it ain't my will be done, so high in the world can I do what God do? Gotta worship the creator, but now this a creature, how dare I be feeling myself? How dare I try to raise my throne? It's only one most high, my pride is just getting me thrown. Down to the weep and the gnash of the teeth, all so similar to the beast. Rather be eating from the tree of life, so I'm turning over a new leaf. I done had enough of this knowledge of good and evil, so it's time to acquire some wisdom and conquer the system of the devil's domain. Don't need all the fortune and fame, I'm dead to self. God's will be done. God's will be done. God's will be done. God's will. I'm dead to self. God's will be done. God's will be done. God's will be done. God's will. Sorry, I haven't been on social media in much in a while. I figured now is a good time for me to give you a word of encouragement. We're under stay at place order here in North Carolina, just like many other places across the country. Right now, since my job isn't at an essential business, I'm at home. But God is good. I'm still getting paid. I just want everybody to know that even though this virus is serious business and it's good to be cautious and use wisdom, we've been quarantined way before now in a spiritual sense. At least that's the case if you're a believer. That doesn't mean we go around disobeying the laws of the land and putting ourselves in ridiculous situations. Remember, in Matthew chapter 4, the enemy tempted Jesus to jump off the roof of the temple because it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in thy hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. But Jesus said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So, let's continue to practice cleanliness and physical distancing. However, what the enemy said does bring up a good point if you think about it. Ironically, he was referring to Psalm 91. My family and I got together about a week ago and we prayed this psalm over our entire family and all of our loved ones and those on the front lines dealing with this pandemic. If you haven't done it yet, I encourage you to do the same. Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. At the end of Psalm 91, it says, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That means me. That means you, the believer. The moment you had a change of heart, repented of your sins, confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, you received this salvation and your salvation is your quarantine. Just like the ancient Hebrews were covered by the blood of the lamb in Egypt, when they applied it to the doorposts, we too are sealed by the blood of the lamb because Jesus was that lamb and the blood that dripped as he hung on the cross was applied to our lives as believers. The Hebrew word for salvation in the text is defined as victory, prosperity, deliverance, and health. As children of God, we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That literally means no weapon. If you're kind of a conspiracy theorist like me and you believe that H1N1, Ebola, and coronavirus are biological weapons meant to create emergency, shorten our supply, instill fear, and put principalities and authority over private businesses, ushering in an end-time world order, then this is great news. Because as children of God, we are sealed by the blood of Jesus and no weapon formed against us will prosper. That's the word, and we know his word is true. Jesus says in Matthew 6, Take no thought for your life, what, she, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink. Yet for your body, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Listen to Jesus and stop being like the world, hoarding toilet paper, sanitizer, bread, and sausage. Be still and know that he is God, Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Now is the time to be given and supporting others through this time of crisis. That's how we prove to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law, and the blessing of increase is yours even while the world is in turmoil and the nation's economy struggles. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. No form of sickness and disease has spiritual authority to dwell in you because by his stripes you are healed. Now you might say, but Ira Dub, I'm a Christian and I had the virus. Or my future is so uncertain because I'm not working or getting paid, so I just don't see what you're saying. You have to understand that your experience doesn't change God's truth. The enemy is deceptive and slick. 
Just like anybody under someone's authority that realizes that the one in authority doesn't fully grasp the concept of their authority. When you see it, you take advantage of it. The enemy does this in many of our lives until we mature. That's why the scripture tells us to study to show ourselves approved. We don't have to prove anything to each other, but the enemy needs to know that we know that we have authority over him in every way in the name of Jesus. Otherwise, we perish for the lack of knowledge. The reason we can plead the blood is because it's our legal right according to the covenant between the Father and the Son and, the name, and at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. The reason we can be assured that God will make a way out of no way when our future is uncertain is because he gave us his word that all things work together for the good of those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And we know that his word never returns to him void. Have faith and he will reward you accordingly. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. You can't be scared and walk in faith at the same time. I'm not saying that we never feel fear. I'm saying that when we do feel it, it's time to activate our faith because fear and faith can't occupy the same space. If fear and faith are two sides of the same coin, only one side can face the sky. Flip it just like heads or tails. There's no way the coin can land where both fear and faith are on top. You want your faith on top. Only by faith can we walk in the fullness of our salvation. Like I said before, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it's time to shut off all the negative news reports and everything else and start feeding your spirit with the word. Quarantine your mind. Your mind is the ultimate battlefield. God has allowed everything to slow down for the time being, so we need to be giving him our attention. We need to sanctify ourselves through fasting and prayer and take time to study the word and worship him. Entertainment is okay, but we don't need to get carried away binging on satanic media that fills your mind and your heart with the Antichrist agenda. Our power to resist the enemy lies in our submission to our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit in you functions best when you feed him. We might not be allowed to kick in the hospital doors and lay hands on everybody, but the miracle working power of God is still activated by the effectual and fervent prayer of the righteous. So fear not. Be the light of the world in this time of darkness. Keep your families covered in prayer. Offer what resources you have to those in need and be sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Born at the bottom, but never bothered to even reach for the top of the barrel. So how is it that you done been to the fall? I know that it's more than the season. Still motivated to make it, but I got to make it for a different reason. Lord, I know that you're seeking. Too many people is geeking. Determined to be a man after your own heart as long as I'm breathing. Because I know mine is deceitful. Stood in the courtroom and I was deceiving to believe it. it was me versus the people. But you gave me vision beyond 2020 so I can discern the evil.